Hi y'all, welcome back. You see my pile? I got a haul from my girlfriend. She went garage selling and she bought me all this and would not let me pay her. So she'll be getting some of it back as gifts because she even said, I kind of like this, but I don't know what to do with it. So let me show you what we got. There's two of them. I think she's going to get one of these. I got some real pretty Christmas deco potch paper. So I think I'm going to cover maybe both or at least one of these. Let's see. That's pretty. It's a base. And the scallops aren't on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that. Real pretty. Not real sure what to do with it. Um, we saw some neat ideas. You know, they make the glass uh, mushrooms. To put a bowl on top of this. Wouldn't that be a cute little mushroom? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do with that. And then a wire basket. You can do something with it. I'm not sure what. You also could use it as a shade somehow. I don't know if I can take this off or not. It might be part of it. But I did have one idea. So we'll see what we can do with this. And then, guys, this was an item that I had picked up at a garage sale. Looks like she got this for a dollar, so that was a good deal. But I had done some uh, decoupaging with, I had the um, tractor. What else did I do? I can't remember. It was um, from the barn, the fall, fall farm tractor and the truck I think can't remember but anyway we decoupaged in there and it turned out really cute so I'll probably decoupage in that again do it one way or another this way at least you can hang from that okay and then guys look at this I don't know what to do with it because I really like it with the whitewash board. It looks like it has a place to set a candle. But that'd be cute decoupage too. No, I don't know. I really love that. Alright. Two more things. Oh, I did one of the best for last. And this. It uh, has a way to hang on the back. I like the magazines. But it's kind of out of style. So um, I can take this off, do some painting on it. That's a, originally uh, $29.99 at Hobby Lobby, but I know she didn't pay that at the garage sale. And look at this, guys. It's got a wagon on the other side of it. You're definitely going to decoupage that. Just got to figure out what color and what paper. Alright, that's all I got guys. Maybe I'll put the makeovers on the end of it. I just wanted to show you what I got for free from my girlfriend. Alright, if you guys got any ideas, let me know. Let me 
in the comments and give me some ideas. Alright, I got this and I wanted to try to put a transfer on here. Of course, when I ordered these, I hadn't ever done this before, so we're going to see how it works. It's a different kind of transfer. It takes water that you put on here, so we're going to see if we can do this. Said to cut it as close to it as you could, and then you take this off. And then you take a sponge and you wet it down. It says till it's clear. was easy enough look at that then you slide it off and then you let it dry it says not to touch it until it dries oh my gosh that was so easy and I hadn't ever done that before oh wow talk about a quick and easy craft I'm gonna have to try that a lot more love it As you can see, I have already used this paper. I actually used it on another lantern. It was a black one. And I wanted to try a white one. So I have already cut it out three of, for the panels. And you can see I still have quite a bit left. So I'll just save all of this. And the pattern is called Pressed Flower masterboard and I'll leave a link in the description so you'll be able to get it if you want it but so far I'm going to make two lanterns and I have quite a bit left so I'm showing you here all the choices that I decided on for the four different panels and I just left about a oh I don't know quarter inch eighth inch bigger around the pieces of glass this is a Dollar Tree lantern that I used and took apart. Be sure you clean the glass really good on the side that you're going to decoupage your paper to so that you don't get any dirt or any, any kind of fingerprints or anything on the glass before you lay your paper down because you'll be able to see it from the other side. The decoupage medium that I use is Wise Owl One Hour Enamel and it's in the clear mat. I don't carry it but there, I just um, actually I got it from Roy Cycle Treasures so if you want to get on there, you should be able to find it. Make sure you cover each area. I look at it from the side to make sure I've not missed anything.
as you can see here, I started to get wrinkles and I forgot to spray, which really helps. And then I've got a piece of saran wrap that I just roll up in a ball and that helps smooth it down. You can see I'm struggling on this one, but the paper is thick enough that you can just peel it back up. You just got to be gentle with it and then lay it back down. And then you want to be sure, especially if you're wanting to see through it, that you spray it down again. It'll look really transparent. Found another little wrinkle right there. And then you want to lay your instantly while it's wet so that, again, it's transparent. You want to lay down your top layer of medium.
who saved the last corner that has the wire and it's up underneath this little plastic piece Just trying to get it where you guys can see and then there's a little notch in that top little plastic see me put it in there it's kind of hard to see there put it that wire in that little notch and then you screw it down that helps hold the wire up in the corner Does anybody else's dog rub on you like a cow rubbing on a tree or fence post? Then he saw me videotaping him and he stopped. It's amazing him and Buddy both if they see me videotaping they stop what they're doing. <laughs> 